Hello YouTube, this will be just a short video because I know people don't don't like to watch long videos. Anyway, long story short, uh, this is my new upcoming 2 inch display, CAN bus gauge pro and this is the double version of the heads CAN gauge and uh, as you see it has two displays and um, you can have it uh, obviously they're both running on um, on automatic cycle screen and you can of course just change to the screen you want and have those open this customer actually wanted the um, um, the air fuel ratio and the pressure gauge which happened to be both uh, round displays so let me get there real quick that's the first one So these are the two screens that he wished for and um, so it's practically the single in a double enclosure and uh, technically nothing fancy so just two in one so I just wanted to show you as it is an other option you could technically have here something else uh, for example the GPS so none CAN bus related or OBD2 let me say that as well um, so this it could be one CAN bus gauge and the other one could be something else so if you look in my Tindy store you will see other uh, items I have it could be a special just a gear indicator uh, the manual one uh, could be GPS like I said or even altimeter or whatever so that is all up to you uh, these are two separate PCBs it's it's not a double PCB they're just two separate PCBs I don't have any right here right now so anyway this is the double gauge this is the new upcoming uh, 2 inch display gauge with 320 by 240 pixels and it is also IPS actually running the same display controller chip so updating the code was easier this has obviously a few more extra screens in it and um, I have still to order I wanted to do it today but I didn't get around to it I uh, want to order carbon fiber front obviously and it would technically look like this uh, here <laughs> I made a mistake that's what you get for working 16 hours till 4 no o'clock in the morning um, this was supposed to be cut out but instead of having these lines as dimension I had it as a, I don't know what layer it was I think um, T place on Eagle as a T place just to as a reference where the display would be and then they did cut out like this but also as you see here it's all freckled because the silk screen does suck so I would even if I would have to cut out I would obviously not use this because it just looks too ugly but that's how the cage will look this is the back the back PCBs are okay mostly and it has obviously a USB type C connector on the back so you can just plug it in and out of your car so that's how it's gonna look like it looks much bigger on the video it's not that big as a matter of fact let me show you and tell you how much it is it's 62 millimeters wide and uh, 40 48 high in inches 
uh, almost two, two and one, or how you say it, one fourth, no, almost two and a half inches. <laughs> and uh, one inch a little more than one and three quarters inch three quarters what would that be four eighth two and four eighth i don't know that's probably wrong so excuse me uh it will be 18 actually a little less because i will have it uh, it will be 60 millimeters deep and then in inches uh, about a little more than half an inch thick and with having usb type c you will be able to use any cable you want it will obviously come with the cable because as you can see here the usb connector does have a usb connect uh yes the obd connector has a usb port on it and um, it will come with the cable but then you can change it around if you want it angled or up and down or straight out the back for example and then you can change the color of the cable as well so that's what it's coming and um, yes this was it so anyway thanks for watching and i wish everybody a, say a great week and stay safe till later